With a commanding electoral vote lead, Democrat Barack Obama seemingly reversed the trend of the last two presidential elections that made it look like the country would remain evenly divided. President-elect Obama is going to be president for all of America. He also happens to be black, which makes it a very, very historic occasion. A look at who voted for Obama and why explains how he led Republican John McCain by about 200 electoral votes. One in 10 voters went to the polls for the first time, helping to push turnout to one of the highest levels in a century. Seven in 10 new voters picked Obama. Two thirds were under 30, one in five were black, Nearly as many were Hispanic. Among white voters who make up two-thirds of the electorate, more than half backed McCain, but his white support was lower than President Bush's four years ago. Virtually all blacks supported Obama. McCain got almost no black support compared to one in 10 blacks who voted for Bush in 2004. Two-thirds of Hispanics backed Obama. Four years ago, just over half voted for Democrat John Kerry. Put that together, and that's a heck of a coalition for Barack Obama. Put on top of that, uh, college-educated white voters, and that's the, the four legs to Barack Obama's stool. That's his coalition. Exit poll information shows that four in 10 people identify as Democrats, while only three in 10 call themselves Republicans. 90% voted for the candidate of their party. Just over half of independents chose Obama. AP Washington Bureau Chief Ron Fournier says the number of young voters is growing, and people who vote for the same party in their first two elections are likely to stay with that party for the rest of their lives. The scariest thing in all these numbers for the Republicans is the fact that the new voters who tend to stay in one party are voting Democratic. What does that mean 20 years from now? A whole generation of Democratic voters. In the end, the why people voted may be most important. Six in 10 voters said the economy is the most important issue facing the nation. Obama had a nine-point lead over McCain among them. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.